Hi, this is Kyle from APS, and I'm here to share with you some of the characteristics of Dinghy Vectran line by FSE Rob Line. Um, this line is available in two colors and three diameters. Uh, this really small 12th inch, we've got 8th inch, and then we have 5 30 seconds. Um, this has a tightly woven polyester jacket, smooth but not slippery. And the core of this is 100% Vectran low stretch, low water absorption, UV stable, no creep, no stretch. Uh, and you can see that it is also coated. So starting with this little guy, the 12th inch, this is coated, but uh, it's not braided. Um, it's just not really feasible to strip the jacket, nor it's kind of hard to imagine a need where you'd need to. But it, the, coat, uh, the core is coated. Um, but it's really not recommended that you strip this. We see this line used uh, for lashings, micro lashings, um, and uh, for um, Optimus sail ties in the middle and this larger diameter in the corners, sometimes on sunfish in place of sail rings. Um, use your imagination. Uh, but if you don't want something to move and you want the performance of Vectran in a really small control line uh, for dinghies and maybe a few applications in keel boats, this would be a good go-to. So this is the eighth inch. Now we've moved into a braided, let's see if I can show you that, a braided core and a coated core. And if you want to get really nuts uh, with a halyard on a dinghy and strip that, it's a nice braid angle on the Vectran. Um, if you strip it, you would do a 12-strand eye splice in the end. If you didn't strip it and you wanted an eye, uh, you would probably do a core-to-core -core splice, but you wouldn't be able to bury the jacket back down in here. You'd have to terminate it uh, right here. So this is um, Dinghy Vectran Line by FSE Robe Line. For these and all of your line needs, visit us at APSLTD.com.